Who else is ready for what if y'all i'm a captain carter stan i'm calling it guys i cannot wait for what if and it has been confirmed that they are canon so that's going to be super cool tie them into the mcu bring the multiverse in very strongly and bring alternate versions of characters into the mcu guys i cannot wait we're here today to check out the first episode and react but if you're new here my name is leo rydell hit that subscribe button if you're new and you enjoy this type of content and guys i cannot wait to react to this episode so let's get to it hey y'all you know this mcu flair there we go ah oh, feels so glorious to be back in the mcu again y'all like ah ooh, the animated look came in awesome oh. they went with two intros <laughs> what up cat it's a prison oh my god captain carter guys <laughs> y'all, I'm so excited for this. Holy crap, look at all these possibilities, y'all. Jeffrey Wright, yeah, is the watcher. And ponder the question What if? <laughs> y'all, I can't wait. Awesome. The Nazi army marches across Europe. We, we in Captain Carter territory, baby? The Allied armies band together. Skinny kid from Brooklyn became Captain America. Yeah. After turning the tide of World War II, yeah, Cap. he made the ultimate sacrifice. A single choice created a whole new <sighs> Captain Carter's the first episode. Awesome. Agent Carter, wouldn't you be more comfortable in the booth? No, I prefer to stay. Uh oh. There. That's the moment that created a new universe. Yeah. So that one choice. <gasps> Soon it would be her venturing into the unknown. Awesome. Uh-oh. So he started that early. Okay. <gasps> oh, shit. Okay, Steve, running to be hero. Uh-oh, he just capped Steve, y'all. Like. Yeah, Peggy. Eyes on me. Focus on me. No, he can't be dead. He was in the Iron Man one suit. We lose the project. Hang on, I'll be right back. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Y'all, I'm a stand. Agent Carter, what are you doing? Don't do this. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> wow, Peggy, this is awesome. So she gonna come out as buff as Steve? Like, what are we looking at here? <laughs> She's like a little more built though. Did it work? And then some. We won't be needing no Yeah, she's more. built. Peggy. Holy crap, Peggy. Wow. I'd call this an absolute success. Look at Captain Gordy, huh? An absolute failure. 60 million dollars and all the hope in the world. Down Why? Cuz she's a lady. I was promised an army. I was promised peace and mm, salvation. Boy. If we get lucky, someday Dude, you'll Peggy is a built. Movie. Holy crap. You Look at her, y'all. Sure as hell mm -mm. Oh, sweet. Adapting the Steve scene from the end of Cap. Nice, nice. Not according to Colonel Weapons. Uh oh. Go ahead, Pig. Nice. So weird that it's not Chris Evans. <laughs> it's weird. Haley Atwell doesn't sound like. Peggy in this episode. Okay. And don't worry about me. I never was much of a dancer anyway. Okay, Steve. Maybe you haven't found the right partner. <laughs> I love how they're still like in love, even with the role reversal. Just goes to show that they were in love all along. Doesn't matter how they looked. Nice, they got that shot from the first Avenger. Awesome. Oh. <laughs> Hitler's very own supernatural sciences division. Yep. Pretty much these events are happening the same. I could go. Great. Now you're both crazy. Yeah, Captain Carter, let's go. Running around the place. Any the extent of his Colonel douchebag, any? Maybe the war will be over before Hydra figures out how to turn the damn thing on. Flynn's a moron. Lucky for you, I'm a genius. 
Did he make the suit for her? Hell yeah. USO. Let's go sell some war bonds costume. This is gonna be awkward. Wow, so he had the shield already. Sick. Yeah, baby! Captain Carter, let's go! Arnim. Yeah, baby! Captain Carter, let's go! <laughs> she about to take them down, huh? Yes, man. That was brilliant. Yes. Go. <laughs> yes. Are you being me? I'm usually a bit more covert. <laughs> Awesome. Uh oh. That's some kind of big guns. Where have you been in my life? The allies must be fragile. Oh, Peggy dropped the shield, y'all. <laughs> Go ahead, Peggy. Hell yeah. You're not qualified for field duty. Then you better promote me. Captain has a nice ring to it. Okay. I trust you know what to do with it. Captain Carter. Oh, I know exactly. Steve's Iron Man suit. Hell yeah, Steve. Join the war effort, Steve. Hell yeah. He's your friend. The best one I got. Even better. If we're going to take down Hydra, we'll need all the friends we can get. Uh oh, look, he grabbed Peggy's hand. You owe me more than that. You owe me a dance. Aw, y'all. This is nice. Mind if I have a go? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yo, she coming up in here taking, kicking some ass, man. Howling Commandos, baby. Let's do it. Yeah. Queen All right, Bucky. Got a little attitude. Steve Rogers sent me. The name's Captain Carter. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Captain Carter and shit, yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Peggy. I'm loving this, y'all. Steve? Yeah. Hell yes. Steve. Hell yes, Steve. Now you owe me one. The freaking Ironmonger suit. Yes. Hold on a second. <laughs> I just stomped. I thought it was. Dude, hell yeah. Fuck yeah, just a giant ironmonger. You can't even drive a car. <laughs> so a dame and a flying Buick. Okay, and a flying let's Buick. Hear it for Captain Carter. <laughs> nice. Like when Cap win. saved the others. <laughs> okay. Love this old school flair. Love the music. This is awesome. I love how they mute it too. Make it feel old timey a little. It'd be kind of cool if it was in black and white. Damn, dude, she is mowing these guys down. Jeez. Okay, yeah, Steve, come in. They're a hell of a tag team. The Fuhrer demands your presence. Hydra Stomper. Demands. Demands. Yours? Oh. Damn. Oh. <laughs> that was no hesitation at all. Red Skull. The Third Reich will fall. 
We didn't see like any kind of takeover scene like this. That's cool. I'm glad they're adding like some new beats to it too. It's not the exact same story. In a way, the outside. That's why she's so much more powerful as Cap. I'm no longer screaming to be heard, to be seen, to be in the room. To be respected. Yeah. You're more than the suit. The suit is nothing without the man inside. You're my hero, Steve. Okay. Ma'am, <gasps> please put down the sword. What? Uh, sir, it's Captain Carter. Fury and Hawkeye? Steve Rogers. The war ended. Okay, so she went to the future? Years ago. Thought she went to another dimension for a second there, like. You're going to be okay. Of course. We won the war. One choice gave birth to a whole new history. I love this universe, kind of voiceover. One choice. These are my stories. I observe all that transpires here, but I do not, cannot, will not interfere. Yep. The Watcher only. The Watcher. Shit, dude. Awesome. Holy freaking cow. That was an awesome episode. Y'all, I'm a Captain Carter stan, okay? That was awesome. I have a couple gripes, but I really enjoyed this episode a lot. I like that they started it with Captain Carter because that was the one I was most excited for, that in Marvel Zombies. So I am so happy with that episode. I love getting Peggy in the suit, the shield. She just gets like super buff and huge. It is awesome. And I love that they they still ran with the serum, what the serum does by enhancing abilities. And so because she was already a fighter, because she was already really in good shape and pretty fit it made her even stronger than steve would have been with the serum because she had already been through so much training she had already been pretty tough and pretty you know adept and able before the serum unlike steve who was skinny shorter not that strong peggy had already had strength she had already had fighting abilities so the serum enhanced her and made her almost super power like almost super strength like she was like, she literally ran through shield the car and threw the freaking car to the side. I'm like, dude, Peggy is stronger than Steve was with that serum, and I am here for it. I absolutely love that the romance is still just as strong. There's no, like, weird, like, oh, well, he's shorter. Like, no, it is amazing that their love just transcends even looks. So it was just so beautifully done. And I love that Bucky is so involved with this episode. But I have a couple gripes, and I will say the animation feels a little stiff at times, and I just, honestly, the voice actors, the emotional delivery is not as strong as it was in Captain America The First Avenger. Like, when Peggy was going through the, the, the portal, I don't know, it just didn't feel as emotional as when Steve was diving the the ship down into the ice i just was hoping for something as emotionally well delivered as that and i think some of the other lines weren't delivered as good as they could have been as well i just think some of the voice acting ooh, not as good as being in the series but i really enjoy what i saw besides the animation being a little stiff and the voice acting a little bit i really enjoyed that episode i thought it was fun i thought it was a crazy good episode and i am so excited for what's to come with the other episodes guys let me know your thoughts down in the comments how did you like this episode how are you liking what if so far we're only an episode in so let me know what you think guys i will be back next week for what if episode two and i will see you next time on geekly goods